Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Her heart is barely beating. Do you know that nagging feeling in the pit of your stomach when you just know that something's not right? When, for whatever reason, you just know that something's going to go wrong. Hey guys, where's Star the Slowpoke? Oh, she's making her way out. For the record, it is a whopping negative minus two degrees. Goats are incredibly hardy animals able to withstand the extremes of temperatures on both ends. Oh, fuck, get off, fuck, get off me, get what? off me. How these animals do it, I literally can't feel my fingertips. I've been out here for a couple of minutes, man. This is nuts, it hurts. Star on the left historically has been kind of a weak goat. She was getting sick often and she was always very skinny. I got Star three months ago now. <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and boy oh boy did she have character. This here is Star. Go on in. I loved her from the very moment I laid eyes on her, and ever since. She seemed like she might have been struggling a little bit more than the other goats, but when the cold hit, all the goats stayed inside and huddled together, Star included. And the first day it dropped down to 17 degrees, we had brought her inside to heat her up next to the fireplace. We could tell she was a little bit cold. It was so cold that our water had frozen even our pond, and I was able to stand on it. While the animals were outside in sub-zero temperatures, we stayed inside nice and warm. And of course I was worried about them. Then we came to that night two days later. My wife went to go check on the goats before we went to bed, and all I heard from inside the house was Bag! 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 Star was buried under the other animals, including Larry the Llama. We think that they were trying to keep her warm. When she came in, her mouth and everything was darn near ice cold. Come on, sweetheart. She's just swallowed. Frantic, I kept checking for a heartbeat to make sure that it hasn't given up yet. She fought so hard. We gave her honey as well to try and increase her energy level so that she could hopefully get her heat up. Her mouth is ice cold. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, baby, you can do this. You can do this, honey, come on. One of the last reflexes to go from goats is their blinking. So we kept checking to make sure that she still had this. She did, and she started to make noises and was kicking and moving. It was looking so optimistic. 11 o'clock at night and nobody could go to sleep. Worry and hope were in the air, and all we could do was give prayer. Yep, she's blinking fast. And I had massively thrown my back out, and so I stayed on the couch with her all night. We covered her in blankets with a heating pad to try and get her body temperature back up to the 101 to 2 it should be. Hey, Star. Hi. You're looking around. <gasps> that was the first time she's blinked in an hour and a half that we've seen. Like on her own without us trying to force her to. With those improvements, we finally felt like maybe we could catch a little bit of sleep and that Star was going to be just fine. And about two o'clock in the morning, her voice came to life. <coughs> maybe <she> <coughs> But it was only a false sense of hope, because just as she had woken us up bleeding, it slowly went quieter and quieter, and I rubbed her, and I felt her for a heartbeat, and I pet her, and I knew that she was dying. She doesn't have the reflexes in her eyes. At least for the last few hours of her life, she knew that she was loved. And she knew that we did absolutely everything that we could to save her from this horrible fate. And after I felt her heart beat one last time, it was silent.
Something about death makes the world seem quieter, full of less joyful noise. She's not going to get through, sweetheart. She's not in her body anymore. Okay? We'll lay her down gently. I suppose you can never fully expect what's going to happen next. Although we can sometimes have a feeling, an intuition, or something in our spirit that leads us to believe a certain thing is going to go wrong, I don't know if there's anything that we could have done ahead of time, other than moved all the animals into the house to stay warm. If I had a barn, or something that was large enough with insulation that I could throw some heating in, that would have been ideal, but... Maybe that's something that we can work out for next year, so that hopefully, we never have to do this again. If you're blessed with life in this world, there's one thing that is certain to us all, and that is death. As tragic and painful as it is, learn to appreciate it while you can. You guys do care! Oh, I love you too! Thank you all for watching Star Story. I hope that you'll like and subscribe. Till next time, strangers.